Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesigndetectives.com. Oh, we've got a fun one today. We've got a filtered portfolio of projects here. You can show all of them. All your various different categories. Really nice thing to have on your website, really easy to do. We've used this recently on a construction website for their various build projects. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual build. Once enabled, I'm going to go down. We'll add a new section. Little blue button to add a section. I'm going to make mine a regular section. And inside, I'm going to put a single column. And if we roll down, we've got filterable portfolio right here. And before I go any further, let's just delete this section at the top. Now, before you have anything show up here, you've got to actually have some projects. And for anybody that doesn't know, you create those exactly the same as you do for blog posts. Go down to your dashboard projects and add new and just build them any way you want. But like I say, before they'll show up, you've got to have some in here. And once you've got them in here, you can add categories, same way as you can with a blog post, by giving it a name, adding the category here. And if we look back at my projects over here, each of them has got at least one or two categories that it's in here. And to quickly change or add categories, you can hit the quick edit button, go and choose the categories, you can change the name and things like that, you can actually schedule projects and choose whether you want to allow comments and things like that. Once you're finished, make sure you hit the update button and you're good to go. So if we go back in here, at the moment it's going to show everything that's in there. You can choose what categories that you want to show on yours. And as you can see, as I'm checking them, they're adding a little filter for each of these. that's great you can choose that the elements that you want to display down here there's the title you can show categories web design wordpress and if you're not displaying all of your posts here you can have pagination at the bottom it looks like i'm displaying them all at the moment we go back up to our content you can choose how many to display so if i put three in there for instance There's three. I'll move this out of the way. We've got pagination at the bottom, so you can move on to the next three, etc. I'm going to say 16. I think I've got about 14. Great. Well, at the moment, they're displaying full width. And as you can see, the title and the text is just below there. And if we roll past elements there, you can link the whole thing to somewhere. I don't think there's any point for this because each of these is going to link to its individual project over there. You can change the background color here if you want to. And later on, we're going to change the whole section and show you how to decorate this also. Let's get rid of that. Okay. We move on over to our design next door you've got the actual layout now here's where you can choose to show it full width or in a grid fashion and grid fashion is going to give four columns with your titles and things like that if i hover over one of these you can choose to have an overlay at the moment by default it's a white one and you can see the actual title of the project will pop up here also so you can choose to hide the title down there if you choose. If you want to change the color of the overlay or take it away completely, just click on the overlay tab right there. And you can change the icon color, color at the top there. I'm going to change mine to white. And the actual overlay color, change it to black and see what happens. 
That's great, but I want to see some of the image through there. So just click on the color field itself. Bring this little opacity slider down on the right hand side here. Now we can see some of the image through there. Perfect. If you want to change that little icon, it's a plus by default. Let's put a little eye on there. Perhaps. You can do it down here. Just do a search or scroll through. There's a lot to scroll through, though. They've teamed up with Font Awesome. So there's plenty of icons. And there we should have an eye. Perfect. That'll work for me. Moving on down. You can choose to give your images curved corners if you want to. I'm happy with the square. Just make sure you've got that chain checked in the middle. It's checked by default. You'll do all four sides at once. You can give it a border if you want to. Just so you can see. I'll put a black one in there. Let's make it three or four picks. Let's put a black border around there. I'm happy to go with that. If you want to, you can add a bit of box shadow. Just lift that image off the page a little bit. Again, I'm happy with it. It'd be fairly clean like that. Don't want to use any filters. You can get some crazy things going. If you change the colors on your filters, you can get some crazy hover effects and things like that go. I'm happy for it to be exactly how it is. If you wanted to create a hover effect, perhaps with a blur or something when you hover over it, come to all Divi modules, you can create a hover effect by hovering over, hitting the little arrow, be two tabs up there and you can have completely different settings for each so you can have it blurred out on hover and normal on desktop but again i'm happy for it just to have the overlay okay image blend mode will blend it with something that's in the background we've got no background now you can choose your text here whether to put it in the middle have it light, dark, a little bit of box shadow. And you can actually do the title text, filter criteria text, and meta text separately up here. And I'll be changing all that in a moment. But filter criteria text. I'm going to change that to a crazy orange color. I'm going to make it semi bold. And of course, Divi has a huge number of fonts here. Choose one, just roll over it. It'll give you an example. Again, I'm going to leave mine on the default here. And let's just make that meta text perhaps the same color. And again, you've got all those same options there. Okay. I've not got any pagination on this because I'm actually showing all of mine. But if you did, it would be down here, or actually it'd be in the middle. Now we center align this text and you can change that right there. You can add a border. Again, I'm happy with the way it is. Okay, well, I'm going to style mine up a bit more. Just save this. It's got all the info I want there, but I want to make it more like the one that you saw at the beginning, which was full width. And I want to style up a little filter bar up here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this row full width. Green tab for a row. I'm going to go into design, sizing. I'm going to width up to 100%. I'm going to copy that, control C. I'm going to paste it down below in the max width. Or you can just type it in if you want to. We've now got a full width version. I want to give it a little bit of breathing room either side there. If I close up sizing, we can do that in spacing. Left and right. I'm just going to give it perhaps 5% of whatever screen we're looking at it on. And hit the chain so it does the opposite. That works okay for me. Fantastic. And I think I'll tighten those up slightly as well. We can do that back in the sizing also. Use custom gutter width. If we take it down to the left a little bit, it'll make them closer. If you take it all the way down, you can have them actually touching each other. Which is pretty cool if you take away the title the metadata down here but for me i think i want a bit of a gap there something like that perfect okay well let's save that now and i'm going to give it a dark background like i did in the beginning which is the blue one right here for the section background put in whatever color you want background 
or of course you can put in images and gradients and things like that we did a whole video on background you can get some crazy things going so have a look at that video if you're not sure i'm just going to put in a color today my 2424 great well that's okay but our filter bar i'm not not happy with the way that that looks oh i need to turn my titles white so we know how to do that let's go back into the actual portfolio module itself over to design title text let's turn it white in color great now unfortunately there's no way to change that filter bar color within the module itself here nothing obvious anyway but it's easy to do with a bit of css and don't let that put you off i've written it all for you so if you go over to your advanced once in advanced go to custom css in the freeform css i'm going to put a few lines of css code that i've copied and i inspected this and got the class names and i'll put this code down below for anybody who wants to use it and all I'm basically doing is making all of these transparent, taking away the border. I'll tell you what they are one at a time. So this first bit, just copy and paste it in here. That's taking away that default white background that it's got there. But we've also got a hover effect that I need to take away. So I've got another little line of code that'll take that away. Just dropping down one. Now that hover effects gone fantastic and our all filter right there which is actually what they call the active one we need to take that away as well so i've got one more little line of code and that's taking care of that one too fantastic that's going to enable you to decorate how you wish it'll fit perhaps better with your branded colors like I say, I'll pop this code down below. You've got the background color is the top one here. You've got the hover color of the filters there. And you've got the active color of the filters here. So if you wanted to change those to something else, you can just re replace where it says transparent there with whatever color you wish. For instance, if I wanted it to be black, I can put zero 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 or just the color black if you wanted to and you've got a black one there i was happy for it to be transparent let's undo that and we're good to go we'll save what we've got here let's make sure everything's going to work on the front end save draft or publish if you're ready then let's exit the visual builder and there's our little portfolio we've got our styling going on of course, when you click on one, it's going to take you to that particular project. And we can filter them by category up here. Like I say, we just used that on a construction site build, and they were really pleased with it for the actual construction projects they've built. So there you go, guys. There's how to add a custom filterable portfolio to your Divi website. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.